right, and welcome to our $50 account challenge. If you're participating in this, you're probably going to join along. If you're not, you're probably just looking to see what the heck this guy's even talking about. How the heck is he going to turn it $50 into anything whatsoever? Um, but that's what the fun of it is about. Before we even get started whatsoever, I want to give a major shout out to Progression Brewing that supplied us with the beverages for probably the next couple days or so. I say a couple days, which should be a couple weeks, but you know, they're really freaking good. So uh, make sure you check them out. Uh, Massachusetts based, they are great. Uh, Progression Brewing. All right, before we get started in jumping into everything again, another side note I really want to tackle is just the rules of the challenge that we have. All right, so you have to donate to Last Margin Call on Twitter, number one. It does require a donation of any amount whatsoever. Uh, so you determine our worth, all right? You can donate literally any dollar amount and you say that's what you're worth, that's what you're going to be doing. Um, it is a lifetime thing, all right? This is not going to be a per month reoccurring charge or anything whatsoever of that nature. I think it's fair. I think it's valued perfectly. When it comes to that, prizes are going to be up next, right? So the winner is going to get $50. They're going to get their account back, all right? I think excellence should be rewarded. And, you know, it's not a lot, but you know what? When you get to freebie run it when you're doing well, I think it's great. All right, and then we're going to be running marbles on stream, which is a fun little lottery thing. Everybody joins in that participated, um, and they get to watch marbles race. And, you know, we'll be giving away a couple small prizes, $5, $10, uh, maybe one-on-one -on -one lessons. Literally, we'll make it, we'll, we'll throw a couple in there, like, hey, you know what? You determine the prize, and we'll get it for you. Maybe we'll buy you lunch one day or something. Who knows? Who knows what people come up with? All right. Let's jump into past performances on why we're doing this, okay? So every single time that we've ran this, I think we've ran this about since uh, past two years or so, multiple times, um, we've had great success with this. And not just in terms of what we do, but what comes out of this, all right? We have a lot of people working for us uh, here um, and helping out and being on these podcasts and all these things that we're doing that have done the $50 account challenge and had great success. Um you know, they, they've turned $50 into thousands just like we did one time. I want to really make sure of that. Um, but the importance is, you know, making sure you can build it up to something that you would typically start an account challenge or excuse me, not an account challenge, but just an account in general. Um, they say the typical account that is started putting in with trading is about $1,000. So let's build up $50 to $1,000, you know, fingers crossed. Um, in some of the times that we have done this, you know, we had... Back in December of 2019, um, so this past year, uh, we did a hundred dollar account challenge. Uh, I we I pulled it down to uh, ninety dollars, and you know I had to cut it short. Um, so that was a negative, but not blown. Um, in the past, we've we've got it up to about two fifty. I want to say um, there's uh, some other times we got it up to over five hundred. Um, and then there's the magical 2018 where we turned the you know that amount into 10k when it came to that. That was fun. That was an exciting time. And that's kind of what sparked this whole idea is, you know, if, if you can do it once, you can do it again. It does need to be right conditions. Um, it's not something to, you know, go around bragging about like I can turn $50 into 10K anytime I want because that's just not the real thing. But the real thing is learning risk management, learning how your contracts move, you know, just the whole sh spiel of things um, and, you know, what you want to do when you're on your last dollars, but you still want to keep the dream alive, or you know what, maybe I, I don't know enough, but I want to take the risk um, and test what I have. Or you just need a hard reset and you're like, you know what, I want to stay in the game, but I want to play small. You know, maybe it's a hard time in the market that you're having and you kind of just want to pull back and reset when it comes to that. So all great times, all great things to jump into this challenge and just test yourself, compete, see what you can do against other people. All right, um, and that's the psychology thing that I want to jump into um, is when you're having these ruts and you're going through these challenges, it's a hard shift on what you typically do. You know, taking these small, tiny gains is is how you get started. I haven't seen anybody that's had great success that continually takes large scale risk the entire time and just always wins, always continues forward. It doesn't happen like that. All right, so taking a $5 or excuse me, taking even a $2 win right out the gate or taking a $5 win right out the gate, that's 5%. That's going to be 10% of your account in total. Now, if you can keep adding that every single play, it's going to eventually get up there after a few days of trading and you're going to be at $100, all right? So you're trying to build to these levels in the account where you can change your risks, change your strategy um, as you go. You do need to play very directionally in the beginning 
not necessarily you could put a go for you know a nice hit in the beginning on running butterflies you can be doing a nice thing on verticals and hoping that it does but it's still mildly directional and very risky because of how tight those typically are so you do need to play directionally in the beginning and have a strong scalp game to start this account challenge off so it does it's going to, it's going to require using those three day trades if you're on margin cash account if you know if you're running that you should be having fun with that and continuing forward um, it shouldn't be a problem, but you won't be able to hit the spreads that we do later on. Um, so I set up like a little tier system that I personally run by when I do these things is, you know, I want to build up till I hit that $70 mark. All right. Once I hit that $70 mark, I'm going to be shifting into verticals, um, maybe running a little bit wider butterflies on these smaller names. Um, and then just taking, you know, that 10%, 15% gain on the butterfly, not looking for the hit right out the gate. Cause I don't care about that. I'm building, um, and then as I shift into that $100, then it's going to become a little bit more of maybe taking short-term credit spreads, um, maybe trying to reach that $150 mark. And then once the $150, $200 mark comes, then I'm going to be looking to really dive deep into the selling strategies, build it up as fast as I, fast as I can. But obviously, selling strategies require time to go and work with you. Um, but that's the general breakdown of what I want to do. And there's, you know, the, there's verticals in the beginning. Um, there's then there's going to be your uh, iron butterflies that you could run. There's going to be uh, just a bunch of different things you could do. We'll go into it all later. We'll, we'll, we'll forget about that right now. All right. So we have um, the mental breakdown of that in, in, in the progression of the account. But the next thing I really want to hit on to um, and the reason why I have this even pulled up on the screen um, is describing what I'm doing, what I'm seeing. Um, and just kind of giving you an insight of, you know, why and why I'm picking things I'm doing, why I'm I'm picking this play over this play. Um, and then we'll go into a few of the names that we're going to be playing um, as well. And you'll notice it'll be very tight and there'll be a few of them and you just play directionally off that. Um, but here's what I want you to uh, see. Um, we won't do Cisco on this screen right now. We're going to pull up something that everybody knows. Um, and it's going to be, excuse me, real fast while I pull it up. So we're going to be playing Coca-Cola a lot. All right. It's one of those, it's one of those names. It's cheap. It's fun. The first thing you're going to notice about when you're playing directionally on a weekly contract, because you're going to be scalping, meaning you're going to be taking that day trade most likely, unless this is really going in your favor, you're going to notice that an at the money strike right now is going to fit perfectly within $50. Hint, hint. That's why we did this. A challenge at $50 and not a thousand. Hint, hint. All right. So why are we doing this right here? $50, it's still going to be under there. You're going to still be left with a little bit of money. So let's say we're, Monday comes. This is exactly how it is. We expect Coca-Cola to go up based on some type of pattern that we like that goes in along with this. Um, we have this in mind, all right? But before we even do that, erase everything. What's the implied move? What's the inspected, expected move that this is going to make? So we need a realistic expectation of what we can get out of this play. So we're going to look right about here and we're going to say, all right, it's sitting at a dollar fifteen move for the implied week. Maximum amount that we can get per contract out of this implied move if it plays to this. So breaking above an eight, excuse me, you're currently trading at forty-eight fifty. All right. So we're going to get a dollar fifteen out of that if we tackle one of these things with a hundred delta. All right. But we don't have enough money to afford that, so we don't need to worry about that. So it's going to be less than that. And typically, at the money calls and strikes or puts and everything else like that is going to be sitting at about a 50 delta. So we can expect the most out of this possible move to be about $70. All right. But we're not going to even look for that. Who cares about if it hits that and we'd only take a couple dollars. So we're going to get that at 47. It's going to be at a 50 delta. We're going to round everything up. It's going to be at a 30 gamma and a three theta. Now, what does that mean? A lot of people message these things. Why do you do this? What deltas are you looking at when it comes to this? Basically, for every two cents that Coca-Cola moves, so at 47, 49, 51, you're going to be earning a dollar. All right, that's why these plays work. And guess what? Only needing five dollars adds 10 percent onto your account. Now, gamma is going to be coming into a play when you start swinging the positions or maybe this is going really against you and you could just factor that in. Now, the easiest elementary level breakdown of gamma when it comes to this is you apply that to your delta over a dollar period. All right. So if this was at forty nine fifty, you're expected to add about 30 delta or excuse me, 30 delta to your delta, meaning that you're going to be at about 80 cents per one dollar move. All right. So that's going to factor in when we're swinging. We don't need that right out the gate. But the main thing that I really want to tackle to is theta. 
and you're going to notice who knows what they're talking about right away when it comes to who's posting on these challenges as well. That if a three theta is on your thing and this doesn't move and this stalls right at 48, 45, you're going to be losing about 5% of your account per day that this happens. And that's when you need to take these small plays because they don't move and they don't go against you fast because you want to use proper risk management and you're not out here for clout. You're out here for, you're on your last $50. All right. Your, your last hope, you know what, your wife, your husband, um, your kids are saying, mom, dad, you got to stop trading. And you say, I got this, you know, I'm on my last 50. I know how to get out of this. I know how to build this account up to something that I want to do. Or maybe you're in college, you don't have a job yet. Or maybe you do have a job, but you're not risk making a lot enough and you set aside money to do this, but you have the knowledge to build it out of these positions into something that could matter. All right. So there's a lot of different scenarios. We're not going to sit here and go through them all. But that's what I want you to target when it comes to this is playing off the implied move, being realistic with your expectations of every play. Knowing an at the money strike is going to still be within your price range of $50. Understanding your delta and how much money you're going to get back per move of the underlying, how much when you start swinging, gamma, how much is that going to be affecting your delta and moving further with the money that you're making and understanding the risk tolerance of your theta. All right. Now, Ivy is a different monster. We're not going to get into that. But those are the three things that I really highly suggest you pay attention to. Now, the names that we really want to suggest when it comes to this, too, is that you're going to be sticking about five names and really five names total and then sector plays. All right. So you're going to be looking at Coca-Cola, obviously. You're going to be looking at Pfizer, obviously, Bank of America, and then you start mixing up. Another one what I did was Intel for the longest time because it was tech and it was a little bit lower, you have to find these certain names that are under $50 because they just move at a slower pace. You can dive into higher named ones, but I say you put it at a $75 limit on the stock price itself and don't go above that. Anything above that is pure risk and someone's just looking for clout to earn a little bit extra money because you know what? They're not actually playing like it's their last dollar. They're just looking to make as much money as fast as they can and build that up. So, and then it goes into sector plays, all right? So spider ETFs, when they have these, you have your XLV healthcare, you have your um, retail XRT, sorry, remembering these off the top of my head. Um, and then you have your XLEs for energy, your XLIs for industrials. Um, you know what, we look at the pricings on these right away. Okay, so XLV healthcare, all right? You can't play anything when it comes to this, because right at the money, and you have to dive deep into out the money plays all right so what's something that fits into the account challenge itself even though you know this is a bad name because it's just nothing is actually there until you know updated pricing when it comes to this let's look at x xbi all right another spider name when it comes to this and look how far you have to go down in order to reach that 50 dollars. you know you're looking at a 115 in order to just be able to get into a play its expected move is only 450 and it's right outside of that. So you are not gonna be wanting to take a 115 and try scalping that because let's go across and you're looking at 16 delta, which means for every $1 that it goes up, you're only getting $16 back. And you, what happens if you wanna get out right away, all right? And it starts going against you, that's gonna decay pretty fast. And then you jump over to your theta, all right? And that's sitting at an eight, and that's almost 20% of your account if it just stalls. So it's just a bad thing overall. So you have to keep this low until you do that, until you build this up a little bit higher. All right. So those are the plays that I want to throw out. I want I want to keep it low, keep it small. There is obviously going to be multiple different plays that you can do, but you want to just keep it small. Don't do too much when it comes to this. All right. Now, tomorrow on Sunday, what we're going to be doing is we are going to be um, going over a few of the plays that we're talking about, like we just kind of did right here, but a little bit more depth and maybe we'll find some other names that we like. Um, we have a breakdown just to kind of give people a heads up on what um, when, mon when Monday rolls around, you know, what we're going to be looking directionally based off of charts that we like to play. Obviously, things can change in a jiffy. Um, but one thing that a major thing that I really want to tackle again is making sure that you do not take exact plays that we do. Um, meaning that if we all of a sudden say Bank of America, we're going to take it at a 26 call and we're in at 40 and all of a sudden you go and you type it in and you're at your, you know, you're trying to get in on the 26s, but it's at a 44, 44 is 10% of your account. All right. You can't jump in at the same level. So you need to have some prep, you know, preparedness when it comes to this and what we're going to be watching and taking 
and you kind of need to adjust it to your levels as well. So I hope I hope that people understand that that this isn't going to be like, hey, I'm getting in and we all load this up and all of a sudden it rockets. It can happen, but it's not going to be good for you if all of a sudden, you know, we're in at 40, but we're in or out at 47 and you're just got in at 45 and all you did was get two dollars off that. But I got seven dollars off of that. You know, it, it's not good. I've seen it happen. Um, you get pissed off at me. You get pissed off at everybody doing this challenge. Um, it, it's about learning and getting an education first and learning to use that knowledge to make money off of that knowledge. It's not about using um, the person to gain money when it comes to this. All right. So we will see you tomorrow. We'll be posting everything on last margin. Remember, it does require a donation of literally any amount, any amount you determine our worth. Um, and if everything works out for you, remember to always tip your bartender. All right. We'll see you Sunday and Monday. We'll get this thing started.